Next, I will introduce Katie Robinette, who has been busy on the front lines. You've been receiving her weekly uh, sector reports uh, throughout the pandemic, and uh, FOLA has become sort of the go-to place for, for many lawyers across the province to figure out what is going on, what new practice directions have been uh, laid out, and what is coming down from the court. So I'll hand it over to Katie. Thanks, Bill. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Let me just get that set up. And we've got a little presentation. So I'll speak to um, what's been going on over at FOLA from um, my perspective, but also giving you a little bit of a taste for what, what some of the submissions that we've sent in because uh, on our committee chairs will not be reporting uh, during this uh, plenary, but all of their reports are up on our website. Uh, I think we'll get the family law one up there later today, but the, uh, the legal aid and the real estate are up there are already. Um, so we did do a submission on the Provincial Effect, Effect, uh, Services Act. It's going to allow for service via registered mail, uh, courier or email the remote notarization. Uh, we did an oral presentation, built it an oral presentation with regards to the Accelerating Access to Justice Act. And that was mostly on, I think only on the way judicial appointments are, are going to be amended. Uh, this bill has now passed. So I don't know that the attorney general listened to our input too much, but uh, we did provide it nonetheless. We also sent a letter um, getting a little bit upset with due process with their fee hike. They did issue a response, but in the meantime, our, our letter to them generated some press, which resulted in a phone call to uh, or from the Competition Bureau. So there was some uh, investigation going on in there. We don't know the status of that, but uh, that was nice. And then the law submit LSO submission, which uh, Teresa just referred to on the family law license uh, service providers. Um, we did not necessarily support the law society stance. So you're, I've hyperlinked all of these in the presentation, which is linked online. So you can click to them if you haven't yet seen them. Um, the bill mentioned this, and, and we're going to be hearing from Learn and, and, and um, the chair of Learn and Nathan in a second about our Learn uh, issues. But we've been taking a very proactive stance, especially in light of the recent learn cuts, but always we've been very in the front and center on the importance of law libraries, uh, courthouse law libraries. So we've been doing letter writing venture, tr we're tracking where the ventures stand, their viewpoints, uh, what they've said on libraries, uh, either in their campaign going up to 2019, uh, and where they stood on the votes for cuts and, and discussions around learn at convocations. We're uh, talking about it on social media, we're tagging uh, the Courthouse Law Library Association and we're tagging LEARN whenever we do, uh, and the Law Society. Uh, and we've just conducted, well, we conducted a while ago a Courthouse Library Youth Survey, so thank you all if you were one of the people that responded to it. We're in the middle of, we're closing on the end of drafting our white paper on that, and that will guide us in our, our next steps as we continue consulta consulting with the Law Society at various uh, committees like the Audit and Finance and, and uh, Competency Committee. And we do have a website action center with suggested tweets, similar to the way we run Bell Let's Talk, uh, sort of curated uh, tweets and uh, images that you can, you can use. Bell Let's Talk Day, as uh, Teresa noted, we, we've been quite, uh, prominent in, in being active on this. And I thank you for everything you've done. We, during uh, the Bell Let's Talk Day this year, we increased our Twitter impressions by 450%. So that's great. Um, and uh, we continue to have our mental health resources page up and running on our website. So I encourage you to visit that. And as uh, Teresa mentioned there, um, the Law Society's Mental Health uh, Summit. I, I strongly recommend you sign up for that if you've got the time and are able. We've been plugging it in our weekly updates that I've been sending out each week. 
And speaking of those updates, we've still got the coronavirus as a front and center issue. So we're still doing the weekly sector meetings. It looks like those are continuing through until the end of June, where we'll be deciding whether or not we want to move them to twice a week over the summer and then continue with twice a week from there, or if we all are enjoying the, the once a week get togethers. Uh, so I do send out those updates once a week. I hope you're sending them out to your uh, members. They are full of recent court notices. That's probably the most important content in there, but also information about vaccines from the recovery secretariat and court procedures and the new uh, SCJ civil working group guides have, have come out. So they, they were linked in there this week. Uh, and then I continue to update the courts and MAG sites uh, um, as, as needed, as per different notices. And from time to time, family and criminal pages get updated too with relevant information. Uh, member rewards. So I, I want to walk you through these. I, I know that we've got the Hilton hotels. I, I know we're in shutdown and people just aren't traveling. And a lot of our rewards are all around travel. And so it kind of well, for lack of a better word, sucks right now. But I, the, I've been speaking with the Hilton guys and they have told me that from time to time they see people registering um, with our code, but they're not going through our website. And you might often get a special deal. So if you click the hyperlink that's on our website, if you remember to go through our website, you might actually get a better rate. Not always, it's going to be sometimes the same, but it might take you to a better uh, page. Uh, which right now, I think the standard going rate, they say, is 11% discount. A via rail is 5%. Enterprise is 5%, but you get a VIP membership with it, which entitles you to special perks, uh, like jacked up car uh, preferences and things like that. Purolator is 25%. I know we're all getting around email and, 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 and uh, e-filing, but from time to time, you may need a package being sent, and we've got that benefit. The member deals is one of our best ones. It's 60% off and it, it's great. It's for all sorts of Broadway shows and theme parks. Hopefully those will be back in, in the front and center soon. Uh, CPD online, if you're not already using this to, um, to promote with your uh, associations, they it, last year they contributed $70,000 to back to Ontario uh, associations in licensing fees. So if you have CPD content online and want to send it to them and are part are, are registered with them, are partners with them, they will pay you licensing fees for that. So you get to share your uh, curated, your CPD with a wider audience. Merchant accounts is a rebranded move cash. So it's an online payments provider and we have a special rate with them. Again, go ahead is all travel that's been shut down. We hope to have stuff to announce uh, in the new year. So I kept it up there as one of our perks. It means nothing right now. TechSoup, you can get hardware and some software programs uh, from them as a nonprofit. So if your law association is registered as a nonprofit, you will qualify. It qualif Also, libraries qualify. So look into them. Uh, they're a great deal, uh, very little known about. And then Law Pod is CPD. We get 10% off uh, CPD podcasts. So that's kind of a new little invention for them, or for us in general. I've been taking, uh, NABI is our, our, the affiliate sort of, it's a, a similar sister organization for the bar executives in the States, but there's also one for presidents. And I become quite involved in this and I, I've been getting a lot of good tips, mostly around the government relations side. So when we open back up and we can do another lobby day, but also on how better ideas on how to attract sponsors. So that has helped me in terms of uh, getting ginning up our sponsorship deals and, and how to make it work better. So uh, making sure it's a win win for everyone. Lots of great ideas coming from them. Our uh, member our, our fuller awards. The 2021 ones are going on right now. The deadline is September 30th. I encourage you to nominate people, your presidents, past presidents, uh, stellar members and uh, librarians for distinguished service. No, oh, sorry, for the Luminary Award. I think Bill right now is working out how to physically get the awards to uh, from 2020 to the winners from back then. 
but uh, those are, are kind of uh, quasi virtual, but how to get the actual certificate to them. And so the criteria is on my presentation, which is like, again, on, on, but it's also on our website, the, both the presentation and all this information under our awards. Um, we continue to make sure that the website is up and functioning, uh, both uh, from a mobile perspective and online. And uh, if you ever run into problems or see information that's missing on there, please let me know. I've compiled our social media stats again. Um, one thing that's interesting is, is Twitter is driving more to our website now than Facebook. That was the reverse last year. Um, I just sort of skipped through this, but one thing if you notice in the Google Analytics report, you can see the orange there is from 2019. Those are our spikes from the pandemic at the beginning. We've kind of moved back to where we, we've been before. But so I'm very jealous of the Law Society says to their website, and I think I'll be doing a sidebar with some of their staff to see how we can help uh, increase our, our traffic to our site too. Uh, and then we, and so we, another thing with our website is we like to have good content on there. I, I'm on it daily adding stuff. And if you have any information like events or special news from your association, let us know, we'll add it to our website. We will tweet about it. We will get the word out there for you. You know, we just like to amplify the voice, send newsletters to us. Uh, anytime you're mentioned in a local news article, let us know. Uh, don't forget to tag us on Twitter. It will increase your chances of us resharing or retweeting anything. Anytime, we're your PR firm. Uh, I just wanna give an extra recognition to our sponsors right now. I'll be doing that throughout the uh, plenary. Oh, we're excited we've got some new ones on there. Do visit the sponsor section on our website because uh, they're all hyperlinked to the areas that you'll wanna uh, hook up with them with and we'll have more information forthcoming about them a little bit throughout this uh, plenary and again after. Uh, thank you, you're gonna be getting another survey from me. Don't hate me. It's going to be actually no longer than two minutes and it's going to be five questions. Uh, it should be, keep an eye out for it either this weekend or Monday. 